Get the piston up at the top dead center. Right there. There you go. And I missed that motherfucking sound, Charlie. Bike like what we lit as fuck. Vanji beans off in the cut. The new yellow 472 next to my already 421. Big old cop that 21. Drizzy out there flipping something. JPD don't even change. They know that we are about to. Up and uh, I think they pull it out right now. They doing something. Let me show y'all the KX man. That time, shorty. Big KX 500. The what? Yeah. Change it. Okay. okay, I bought the other two fenders too. I talk to you when you get off the phone. So I think, got the SIG sticker on the front. Got my daughter in the middle of the A15 bike life. A15, the city I'm from. Y'all already know who I be. You know I'm about that life. Don't ask me what, I'm, what life I'm about. You know I'm from the A15. Big KX shit going on. Army fatigue. You know I'm a soldier, right? All right then, shorty. You know I got that seat on there, right, Shorty? You know it's going down with the new pipe and the new radio and thing. You know I'm on that nickel, that KX500 thing. The moose ties on there and rim, short. Moose performance. Yes, sir. See, that's that real bike life shit going on. Yes, sir. Uh oh, fucking up over here, dude. Yeah, I got a new pipe on there. Uh, nice new knobby on there. Swing arm, powder coated. Pretty good. New brake caliber. Rim of tie, new chain. Brake seal. Gotta do a little cleaning on this air box. Oh, I brought these new too. I'm gonna change these while I'm here. Got the new grips, got the ASV levers. I got the uh, shocks all polished up. Got the new pipe on there. New springs. Frame powder coated. Got the chain guard, factory racing, standard cover. Polished the motor up pretty good as well. Shocks been refurbished. And like I say, I'm gonna do a little more paint and touch up on my uh, air cleaner. Got the chain on there. I got more stickers too that I'm gonna put on the swing guard. I got those at home, I just haven't did yet. Before I was here last time, I had a uh, rusty spring on there, put the new nuts in. Nice SV levers, nice kill switch. I brought a new gas tank. Um, because the top pieces broke off in there, if y'all can see. So I brought a new gas cap with me. And I got to go back home on the stickers and uh, put a little more heat and stuff to the stickers. I got the motor, motor polished as much as I can. And like I say, a lot of it is going to be a lot more touching up on my end. 
They just uh, putting the bike together. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. I got a new. I got a new. Uh, I got a new. Uh, got the new gas cap. You know what I see? The old, same size. Only thing is, I got the piece in the top. Brought the new gas cap with me. You know, I'll be able to stick my hose in there, give it the breathing room. My the other pieces broke off. Um, I got a new pingo I brought too. Bought a new pingo for it. I had a pingo last time. I got a new chrome pingo on here. They clean the cars too. So the motor's been totally rebuilt, man. Everything is brand new, even the radiators on here. All the way from the levers to the grips to uh, everything. I just wanted more of an original feel, but I still wanted to add my own kind of like flavor to the bike. So that's why I did the A15, put my own signature on it. Uh, more of original though. Uh, a couple people said, why did I change the frame? It would have been lighter, but I wanted to kind of go with more of an original bike. I got a new style bike. I want an old style bike, more original. And anytime I can take the stickers off of mine and go back with an original decal kit on here. So I wanted to keep it kind of more of an original feel. That's why I end up leaving this frame on here, going back with the colors. I went kind of back with the new feel with the black rims because all the new bikes coming with black wheels on them. You know what I'm saying? So I went with the kind of new feel. But I went back with the green frame. Um, uh, I maybe i might change the frame color later on i might go black you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna see how i like this for the moment and just rock the green frame you know what i'm saying but for the most part like i say i just got to do a little touch up man a little touch up on that little the boxes right there the air cleaner um other than that man we're gonna get ready to put these other um we're gonna get ready to put these other uh uh side covers on man i got new side covers these the extra ones these the old ones actually you see how they dirty uh this is a new tank though everything so i'm gonna get ready to put these on which is these right here excuse me so i'm gonna get ready to put these new ones on man these are the radiator covers right here i'm gonna get ready to put them on they they are working right now so I'm gonna be able to get ready to put them on. These are the new side covers right here that goes on the bike. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get ready to put them on too. Hold on, let me see in the box. Yes, sir. I'm gonna get ready to put these new side covers on and take the old ones off. These go in here. I don't know how these go in here somehow. Oh yeah, like this. Of course. And the screw goes there and the screw goes there. Uh oh. So there, that's how it sits. KX go along the pipe. So I'm gonna get ready to get them, put them on in a second, man. You know, got the new hoses on, got the green hoses on. Motor nice and polished up, clean, no oil leaks. Fresh brake cylinder. Got the new stainless brake, even the foot pegs. The brake lines going all the way to the back. Everything is good, man. No grease, man. Fully restored bike, man. Um, I'm happy. It took a while. I got a lot of thought into it. Got to get it home. Do a few touch-ups here and there on there. Just getting it all the way back together. Hey, how you doing? Just getting it all the way back together. Trying to get it um, all the way right, man. Um, got a lot of time and money into it, though. So, um, I'm happy the way it turned out. I like it, man. He uh, re 
putting the old plastic so taking the old ones off which is right here they sent me extra stickers so taking the old ones off putting the new ones on on that a15 bike life you know man it's just, this is this is a real deal holy feel right now I ain't playing no games man it's bike life shit for real man you see me put money in these bikes man this is a classic kx 500 fully restored fully everything been touched even the motor just went into this guy went into so. what you think about the kegs man did you have fun building it or what yeah I had a blast building it. I do it for a how's it running good good um you wrote it yeah yeah i wrote it up and down the street it's quick torquey torquey I'm wrong. I'm only a buck fifty, so spits a throw here and off. I'm two eighty, two and some two seventy. Right, so you you got double on me. Yeah, I'm like I say, everything been touched, even the motor been repolished. Got the the, the hoses. Were these new radiators or were they? Them new radiators and radiator covers. Okay. Yeah, everything's new. I was telling him about this throttle, man. This throttle ain't. Well, see how it's getting stuck a little bit? Why is that? That needs to be ridden, but yeah, that got to do with the throttle cable, yeah, though, right? Throttle cable, yeah. Just work the lube down the, down the cable. Huh? Just, work, just, just to get the lube, you know, like the lube worked into the cable. Right. It ain't getting stuck. Well, we're going to start it up in a few. Well, then they got my plastic zone, got me all the way together. Now she looking like a full dirt bike again. We're going to take them outside and. See what she sound like, man. See how she riding. Go be next to my boy, little dude, Banshee. Little dude, yellow 472, next to my outrageous 421. See what she sound like, man. Let's take her outside. You got the stand on there still. Ben, the stand on there still, Ben. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Did I get it for you? Yeah. She's looking pretty good. Gotta go get them stickers laid back down. I got some more stickers to put on there too. Kicking this big motherfucker, boy. You got the you got the choke on, bro. No, I had it running. Yeah, that don't mean nothing though. This this big motherfucker right here. Watch you five now. The lights are in the pistons at the top. You know yeah. I mean? Get the piston up at the top dead center. Right there. There you go. That's my baby. Oh, I ain't heard that sound in I don't know how fucking long. That's my motherfucking baby. You gotta let it warm up first, right? What y'all mix the gas at? What y'all mix the gas at? 32 to 1. 32 to 1. I'm gonna let it warm up and I'm gonna take it for a spin.
leaky or something. What's that, oil? Gas. Huh? Gas. Where that's leaking from? The overflow here. The overflow pipe leaking? This, this like little overflow hose here. It's an overflow? But do it supposed to leak gas? No. Why is it leaking? I don't know, it's something new. It hasn't leaked. It's been sitting in the shop this whole time. We right. started and everything. Man, this cage 500, I missed this. That big joke is a monster, bro. Pressure. Ooh. Careful, bro. There you go. I don't know what that leak is, y'all. Uh. That big motherfucker, bro. Man, I missed that motherfucking sound, Charlie. Yes, sir. It's time to get on ass, my boy. I wish a nigga would. All the new bikes. All the new bikes y'all running for the store and getting. I'm going to run all over that shit. Put that YZ shit up. I'm back on my KX shit.
it look kind of level or something to you? Yeah. Do it look kind of level? What do you mean? Like to do it in the front? Is the front sitting higher in the back? I mean, is the back sitting higher? No, when you're sitting on it, when you're sitting down right now, it's it's lower back there. What do you, I'm not understanding. Like the when front, you're wheeling? You no, know, it's just like riding the period. It's like, I feel like the front is, I feel like the front is dipped down in or something. Maybe I'm just used to being on the YZ or something. I don't know. Okay. It feel like the front, it feel like, it feel like the bike's sitting like this. Okay, like your ass is up. Yeah. Up okay, okay. Or am I tripping? I mean, you can adjust that a little bit with moving your forks up and down. Can you move the forks up? Uh, I have to loosen all this stuff. I have to talk to Eric, see what he says. Okay. Clutches just need to be adjusted. Other than that, it's running. It's working. It just needs to be adjusted. Mm -hmm. The clutch do. You That's see how the clutch is? See how it's, it's going for? What is that? This is just your clutch here. So, you see it? Mm -hmm. I mean, it might. It just needs to be written too. That's. I mean, because the plates are. They've been just sitting in oil. They, you know, they haven't. It hasn't been rode really. I rode it up and down the street uh, one day, and then we just left it in the shop and started in the shop for a little mm -hmm. bit, run it. And uh, another thing, I want to say, well, I probably can do that myself. Pull the clutch up some the gear. Yeah. Pull a gear up one. Okay. Up one tooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what else I should have did, bro? I should have got for my bike. I should have got all of this part down here. Like maybe matted. Uh huh. So when the oil get on it, it doesn't look as bad. Yeah. Yeah. I can maybe. get that matted like the shit that go in the back of the truck. I was gonna say like a rhino liner yeah. or, or something like I'll that. I'll probably rhino line the yeah. bottom. That look. That actually looked pretty dope. That I, that I'm set it off. Rhino, bro. All this. Mm -hmm. Maybe all of that. Just so from maybe, like from like this bend. All the way down. All the right. way to about like right there. Yep. You just rhino line that shit. Oh yeah. Other than that, bro, it's not bad. So what do you think I should just let it give in with the clutch or what? Yeah, that's what I would do. I mean, if it's, you feel like it's still slipping a lot, you can you can adjust this a little bit. But it's just because the plates, they they haven't been ridden. Mm -hmm. So, like, even with the Banshees, the Banshees do the same thing. When they sit for so long, and then the, they'll start sticking together, and that's where your, your clutch is dragging. Yeah, but it's, it, it really feels like... It's dipped in, bro. Like I'm, I'm just like I'm. I don't know if the fucking seat is up higher. Cause I did go back with an original seat. I would say the seat does look really thick, too. But that's an original seat. Cause the other one I had got it kind of cut out. So mm -hmm. I got it cut out. It came down in, and then it was like curved in a little bit. But that's how. But I wonder how far would the would the would the front forks come up? Will it come up any? Yeah, so you could pretty much bring the forks to about that line. Where this this line right here. And bring it up some. It's That'll, a lot. Yeah, so I mean, it'll it'll you'll feel a difference. It will you will feel a difference in it. Cause right now I feel like I'm riding mm. deep down here. Like your nose dive. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like I'm nose diving. I'm okay. like.
fresh pads. Kind of wear them in. Yeah, yeah. Wear them down a little bit, yep. Yeah. Off in the cut, little dude yellow 472 next to my outrageous 421. Big old cop that 21, Drizzy out there flipping some. JPD don't even chase, they know that we about to run. I'm platinum in the truck, might get I 80 tatted on me. They know me out in set cash, out them angels rapping for me. I'm in my bag, I'm getting cash, and my bitch bad. Looking in the mirror, I'm that nigga. You got to get up off your ass and hustle. The streets tough, I know, but you got to move yeah, on. You got to hustle, hustle. And they gon' knock you cause they ain't on, even though they wrong. And they